How many have never seen the Kingsman before? Tonight will be your first experience. All right, several of you in that category. Most of you have heard them, so you know what a great time you're in for. The others of you who are seeing them for the first time, just fashion your seat belts and get ready for a great evening because here they come from Asheville, North Carolina, the Kingsman. There's a river rolling deep and wide, deep and wide. Paradise is on the other side Yes, the heaven is waiting When this whole life is o'er There and there abide Rolling on the old river To the land we forever Let your way grow gently Your name tingly Someday we will cross your pole So roll on Jordan Someday soon I know I'm going home, going home. Then I'll see my Savior on His throne. Yes, then I'll see Jesus. I'll, I'll be so happy there. there. Never more to roam. No, never more to roam. Oh, along the mighty home river, clear to that sweet forever. forever. Let, let your go way flow gently, guard your shores in tenly. Some day we will cross your pole. So roll on, Jordan, roll on. We're gonna pray the Lord to carry me home. So roll on, Jordan. Feel the land over here with another godless band. To meet that mansion in the Pomer's land. Roll on, roll on, Jordan. Roll on, oh, river, deep and wide. My home is on the other side. I'm on the reach. We're gonna pray the Lord to carry me home. So roll on, Jordan.
just dropped in. Just take a little look at the places don't work if you want to see what he has to say. He was talking to you. He was talking to you. He was talking to me. He was talking to me. Just take a little time to get a hold of the finally find the answer you will find. Take a little look. Take a little look in the blessed old book. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, come here. This young man, when we were here in, when was it? Uh, October or sometime? September. September. He had just joined the Kingsman. And uh, ladies, he's still not married. I don't guess he ever will. He's uh, 28 years old. You can tell by looking at him, he's a full-blooded Indian. He's a Seneca Indian from up on the reservation in Niagara, New York, just north of Buffalo. I don't mind him being an Indian, but that New York Yankee part's killing me. I can't. <laughs> he's suffering bad culture shock. The other morning, I said, you want some grits at breakfast? He said, I think I'll try one. <laughs> but now, he's not too good a catch yet. He hadn't been here long enough, girls. He hadn't built up any equity and he doesn't have any money much. We had to buy him that sport coat he's wearing, and we bought him two. He'll have another one on tomorrow night, a little different from that one, but that's all he's got. He doesn't have any money in the bank, but if you're interested in him, we have some applications at our record table, and you can fill one of them out. Now, he's in great physical condition. He loves to jog. Oh, he just runs and runs and runs, puts on him little pink tights and that Rambo <laughs> headband. Here he goes. And you know, a lot of times we'll be singing in big cities, and and there's not any place to really run. And so we were parked the other morning at the Holiday Inn in, uh, in uh, Oklahoma City or somewhere, and he was out just running around the bus, jogging, getting his jogging in for the day, round and around. We was in having breakfast. You can tell Ray and me, we don't do much running except to the table. And we was, he was out there just running round and around and around. The guy came in and said, is that your bus out there? I said, yes, sir. He said, you left your engine running. <laughs> We think one of the finest gospel, one of the fine, 
finest voices in gospel music today. Would you welcome Parker Jonathan, ladies and gentlemen, and listen as he sings for you, Jesus is coming for me. Satisfied and we'll be 
do what you like. Beautiful home, romantic bride. And I go out in it once a day. Beautiful sights there to behold. Beautiful gates and streets of gold. I will have a beautiful home someday. Beautiful home, but do what you like. Beautiful home, romantic bride. And I go out in it once a day. Beautiful sights there to behold. Beautiful gates and streets of gold. Thank you so much. I was wondering, we used to do a song called Satisfied. And we had uh, three girls' voices. We had Arthurina Rice, and we had Weena Crawford. Now they're gone. They, they married traveling salesman or something, run off. And I didn't know what we was gonna do till we did that little high thing on Beautiful Home. I found me some more girls singing. We've got uh, Angelina Berger over at the piano. Fix your mic there, Angelina. That's right. We've got Pocahontas here. She's going to do that talk. We've got uh, Tammy Faye Sarrett back here. <laughs> and little Jamie Pricky over here. She's going to do that out. Now, girls, I want you to get lined up over there now. Where you want me to go? How far is it to the bus? Uh, oh, out there. <laughs> Just try to stay out of the way, Ray, while this wants to take the feature do our job, would you please? All right, here we go. Satisfied. <laughs> Then you'll know. Sin. I'm gonna 
Thank you so much. Our piano player has been with the Kingsman since he was 16 years old. He's 18. <laughs> no, he's, he's been with the Kingsman for many years and just done an outstanding job. He's been voted gospel music's number one musician for the past 10 years in a row. Anthony Berger, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's got a brand new cassette uh, on the market. He's released four, and the, he's got the newest one with him tonight, but I'm not going to let you play anything from that. Maybe after we take the break, you can. But right now, I want you to play a medley of Christmas songs, and uh, you've been doing it now for two or three days. It's been real good, except for that one I don't like. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't play the <laughs> drummer boy. I can't stand it. I'm the oldest. I get what I want.
Anthony Berger, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sit down, ladies. Now, our band has a number that they placed on our newest cassette. Now, I wouldn't do this, but our drummer's daddy, Eldridge Fox, owns the King's Band. He told me tonight, he said, I want my band to play. I said, no. He said, I'm telling daddy. I'm <laughs> some problems on a mountain all alone he stood against 400 prophets of Baal he sent a true God answer by fire upon the altar when he prayed the fire came down you could hear Elijah yell I'm glad I'm serving a God who's able to deliver I'm glad I'm serving a God who's able to defend I'm glad I'm serving a God who hears me when I'm praying Standing in that city, gathered with the saints and the countless throng. Someone just might ask me, why you're so happy, just like Elijah. I'll sing that same song. I'm glad I'm serving the God who's able to deliver. I'm glad I'm serving the God 
Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad you're serving a God that you can depend on? When the storms of life rage round about, that pastor that's retiring, how long, how long were you? Have you been? 17 years. How many? 17 in our church. 17. How many all together? 37. 37. It's a coincidence. I, I thought that's what they said. My dad pastored the First Assembly of God Church in Memphis, Tennessee for 37 years. And he retired the Sunday after Bear Bryant announced his retirement on Saturday. Bear Bryant got headlines from one, well, all over the world. Front pages. My dad in Memphis, Tennessee, after pastoring a church for 37 years, got three lines in the commercial appeal. Pastor, First Assembly of God Church, James E. Hamill retired after 37 years of service. Made me kind of sick that a man, warrior of the cross, that trusted in God. I walked by that study door on Saturday night, late at night, me coming in when I was a teenager. I could hear my dad in there praying, Lord, bless the services tomorrow. Give me something to preach on. Give me something to talk to the people about. Serving a God, the same God that delivered the Hebrew children, the same God that took care of David, the same God that took care of the prophets of old. I'm glad to take care of us through our everyday life. I'm glad we can depend on him when the storms of life rage round about us. Can you say amen? amen. If I was called to preach, I'd take the hide off of you right now. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm glad I'm saved. Glad I'm on my way to heaven. Give me that key. Slow it down a little bit. Help me some with that heart back there. We got it. When this life is over I said help me not take over, all right? <laughs> you know, that fella right there, he's been with the Kingsman since he was 17 years old. He's 30 now. And uh <laughs> He got saved when he was 16 years old in high school and got a good dose of old-time religion. And they made fun of him. They teased him. He carries Bible to, to class with him and say the blessing over the grace over his meals in the cafeteria. And they teased him, called him preacher, and called him evangelist and everything else. Laughed at him, made fun of him. But I saw in his yearbook, the year he graduated, the same ones that have been teasing him and making fun of him the year before were saying, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for praying for me. And I tell you what, I admire somebody that, that doesn't hide their light under a bushel. Somebody, when they get saved, ain't ashamed to square their shoulders back and stand up. But that still don't give you no excuse to cover me up. All right? <laughs> when this life is over... I said when this life is over And I'm standing in that city Gathered with the saints Gathered with the saints Someone just might ask me Why you're so happy Just like Elijah I'll sing that same song I'm glad I'm serving the God Who's able to deliver I'm glad I'm serving the God Who's able to defend I'm glad I'm serving the God You hear me when I'm praying
a big hand. That's why we sing. Amen. Amen. I want to sing the title song of our new album. And I want to tell you, we've had uh, some controversy over this song. Of course, we've had controversy ever since we started singing. <laughs> they said that our arrangement was two chords in a cloud of dust. We don't sing by note, we sing by letter. We just open up and let her fly. You know, that's all we know. And uh, we've just stood firm in what we believe. We're going to keep wearing these military haircuts and singing old time songs till Jesus comes again. And that's what we're going to do. I don't care how the music scene changes. I don't care what kind of music comes along. When we organize the Kingsman like it is now, uh, of course, it, that's been 20 years ago. At that time, Ray had been singing 35 years then. And, uh, <laughs> A lot of experience. Been on the road longer than asphalt. <laughs> He's still singing good, isn't he? Ray Ray. That Grecian formula is doing the job, boy. But when we got together with Ray and Eldridge and myself, Greg was, I guess, about seven or eight years old then, and, and uh, none of the rest of these guys were anywhere around. And we decided what the kind of style of songs we were going to sing, and uh, stayed with it. And I told him in that meeting that morning, I'd just flown up from Florida. I told him, I said, fellas, we'll never be voted the number one group. We'll never have star status. We'll never be like the biggies at that time with the Blackwood Brothers and Statesman and Goodman family. I said, we'll never make that mark. But I said, as long as there's old-fashioned Bible-believing people, we'll have a place to sing. And we'll be able to, to do what God would have us do. One Sunday morning in Iowa, South Carolina, wasn't doing too well, just started. Had an old dragon fly for a bus that drag up the hill and fly down the other side. <laughs> singing in a lot of churches you know they shout on credit <laughs> don't put much in the plate thing <laughs> amen amen evangelists amen and uh but that sunday morning eldridge was singing had it not been for a place called mount calvary had it not been for a man named jesus all the kingsmen in the altar dedicated our lives into singing to jesus and ever since that day He's given us everything we need and most of what we want. And like the old spiritual says, I ain't going to turn back now. I'm so proud of him tonight. But I want you to hear this song. That's a little different. And there's been some of the gospel DJs that say it's not the Kingsman. And, and some of them say, well, I won't tell you what they say. But it's doing well. The people are loving it. And I hope you'll receive a blessing. Imagine the final conflict between the forces of good and the forces of evil. If you live for Jesus, if you're saved and on your way to heaven, this song ought to make you feel awful good. Listen, as Jerry sings, Gary sings for you, The Judgment.
my blood has borne. Faces turn as into the courtroom comes the very seed of sin. He who was the saint's accuser must face the charges against him with the fury of all the ages that demon It's not fair. I almost had you on Golgotha. I watched you die. But then Satan, he begins to tremble as his I'm thankful tonight for the love of Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for the peace of mind that surpasses all understanding. I'm thankful when I come to know Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Don't get me wrong. God is the God of judgment. I'm glad I come to know the God of grace, peace, kindness, and love, joy, and happiness. I'm glad he took a life that was broken, put it back together again. I'm glad that he's given me all that I've needed said a while ago, most of what I've wanted. I'm glad to be serving a God who's the God of the second half, who never gives up, never has a worry, never has a care, never has a problem. And I Every voice.
enjoyed the Kingsman tonight so far. If you have, let them know it, ladies and gentlemen. All the Kingsmen from Asheville, North Carolina. If you enjoyed it. Thank you. God bless you. All right, Kingsman, y'all be coming on out here if you would, please, and we'll have some more good singing by the Kingsman. Come on out, fellas. Put your hands together, folks. Let's bring them back, the Kingsman. so much. We've had many, many requests, and we'll answer as many of them as we possibly can in the next uh, few minutes. Uh, we just recently recorded a new uh, Kmart special uh, that'll be released about the 1st of January, and that song is on it, and uh, I want to do, uh, what's one that, that uh, we hadn't done yet? That we Huh? That day stuff. Can they sing that? Can you do those words? Can you do day star? How many? How many of y'all hold it? How many of you folks have uh, seen Gold City? How many of you know Brian Free? You ever heard Brian Free sing? Give me a little bit of a, a miracle song. I want you to take the, the lead on this song. Uh, don't be that way. Tim's a bass player, all right? And when I call on him to sing, he gets so nervous he can thread his sewing machine and it running. But, I mean, he does good. He does good singing harmony parts, and he, he's a good singer. He just gets kind of nervous. And for you folks that never met him, don't stand behind me, son. It makes me nervous. 
Uh, never met him. He's 25 years old, girls, and he's not married. And uh, he's got a little more to offer than old Parker. He's younger. He's been here longer. He's got a little money in the bank. Got a new suit on. Uh-huh. Bet that looked good on your granddaddy, didn't <laughs> and, He's very talented. Now, he's, he's got some money. He's got a, a pickup truck paid for. He's got a double-wide mobile home that him and old Parker share now. But if y'all get married, we'll just move Parker out in the wigwam and you can have it. Like I say, he's very talented. He loves the Lord. And if you're looking for God's perfect will in your life, you'll have to look somewhere else. His name ain't Will. <laughs> How about it for Tim Serrett, ladies and gentlemen? Timmy. All right. What's the name of this song? Daystar. Daybreak. Now, day watch, that's what I called it today. <laughs> day star, okay.
so much. Thank you. Who's got a Kingsman song? How Great Thou Art? We'll do that at the end. Uh, hey, called out. Yeah. Do second verse. Oh. Have you learned Leave Your Sorrows and Come Along? That convention song we sing? I told you to learn it, didn't I? Getting ready to pay him back for what he done to Custer. Right here. You're, you're lucky he didn't bring the songbook with the words in it for you. Say thanks, Greg. Thank you, Greg. All right. Thank you. Now what was we gonna sing? Call out. Second verse. Call out. Huh? Call out. Oh, oh, you're loafing. Nobody saved but me. Go. <laughs> Everybody in the church are good to me. They may have had some little faults, but that I couldn't see. I was busy praising God for victory. Then one day when Brother Fred passed me by and turned his head, I said he thinks he's too good to speak to me. But if he don't change his ways, I just know he can't be saved. I don't think he ever had much anyway. And I know that Sister King, when she gets up there to sing, she's just putting on a show for folks to see. When they all begin to shout, I just cannot help but doubt that they're all a bunch of hypocrites but me. Nobody shame but me, oh Lord. Nobody shame but me. What kind of heaven would God's heaven be if there's nobody shame but me? Then I heard the other day that our pastor brother Ray was in trouble with the law in Tennessee. I don't know this to be true, but I think that I am too, cause he got to where he's preaching right at me. So I quit the church and say that the members all were dead and no good in anybody could have seen. I always found the flaw in everybody that I saw there, just all a bunch of hypocrites but me. Then I said, how can this be if there's no one thing but me? And I'm not too very bad in life. I 
I begin to look around, this is what I found, that the only good is you, it feels of mine. Ain't nobody shaving me, oh Lord, ain't nobody shaving me. What can the hand of God's heaven be, there's nobody shaving me. So I got the woman. Driving one more time. Won't you teach me how to live, how to love in two more years so that I can realize the lost? <laughs> well, the Lord, he heard my prayer. Well, it's just jealous. Cause Tim sung that song a while ago, and I wasn't in it, and you wasn't in it. It sounded good. It sounded awful good. I can talk. Yeah. All you can do is sell T-shirts and records. <laughs> so I don't blame you. I'd feel bad too, son, when these young boys get to singing. But I tell you what, Tim, you've done a good job. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> now, Tim is our bluegrass singer. Come here, Tim. Come here, Greg. Yeah. Now, we're going to have a bluegrass song for you folks that like bluegrass. My, my voice is too pretty to sing bluegrass, so I'm going to turn it over to Greg. Try it. You hurry, don't you want to take a solo? Did I introduce everybody tonight? You met Anthony, give him a hand. Yeah, he done a good job. Now, on these these awards that they give out every October down at the Cortez Convention, now we've all won our share, you know. And uh, Anthony can't win anymore, he won 10 in a row. 
And uh, they're not going to call that an Anthony Mem Burger Memorial, are they? Not memorial. memorial after you're dead. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Oh, you're not dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm not trying to influence you in any way. But the next gentleman I'm going to introduce has no equal to being a musician and to play an instrument and to being the best. How about it for Gary Dillard? Yeah. Now, how about Methuselah over here? Ray Reese. No, I wasn't building you up, Hoss. Take a bow. <laughs> Have you enjoyed PJ tonight, Parker Jonathan? His nickname in the group is Flib. Who knows what that is? Fat little Indian buddy. <laughs> Parker Jonathan. Give him another hand. He's doing a good job. He's taking a lot of abuse from these other fellows. When he's bad, I make him watch John Wayne cowboy and Indian movies with me where all the Indians get killed. That'd make him watch them. Now, our drummer boy, stand up. Oh, you are standing. I'm sorry. How about it for Greg Fox? He's doing a good job. How about it for Mighty Mouth? I'm, I mean, Gary Shepard. Gary Shepard, give him a hand. I tell you, if we're... We're crazy most of the time, you know, I, I wouldn't say, but it's a little different now. We have uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five more days, and then we're off three weeks for Christmas. And i tell you what, we have worked. We've been on that bus. Ray's been using Raid instead of right guard, and I'm <laughs> sick of him. Yeah. I'll be so glad, so glad to get rid of him. And... Uh, for just a, just a three week rest, but no, we're we're all looking forward to, to vacation and, and uh, uh, just excited about it. And uh, I'm looking forward to going. I'm going skiing Monday. Uh, <laughs> I am. I'm going up there. <laughs> says I have to ski. No, the singing news sponsors a ski trip for all the young people. That for uh, my son's going, and I'm going. Up there. Shut up, I'm gonna smack you. And, uh, oh, y'all let me alone. Let, let's do something. What do you wanna say? Call it out. I'll First or second verse? All the way from the top. Please. Everyone. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Bill, turn the lights on for me, will you? Uh, how many people are here tonight that you sing in a local group? Let me see your hand. You sing in a quartet. Put it, come on. Put your hand up. How many? Come on up here. You? Back there. Come on. I want y'all to come sing with us. Come on. Where's that big fat guy that I talked to? There he is. Come on up here. That's Kingsman country there. Come on. <laughs> come on. Don't make me come down here and get you. Turn these tables over and all that kind of stuff. Come on. We're going to sing a song. I'm going to direct the choir. I can do it. Right. Come, get on. Don't, nobody gets in front of me, though. You should, you should. Stay back there. Boy, I like that haircut, son. You can go in places. That, that Kingsman shag, I like that. Anybody else? All right. Now, let's do... Uh, do silent. No music. Where's the smile? This ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> they think they're getting a root canal. <laughs> <laughs> Unknown 
that good? Oh, Lord, my, where are you going? You get back over there, I'll tell you, you can go. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, and I hear Thank you. Remain standing, Bill. There you are. How'd you like McGuire? Oh, I'm there. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. A lot of rehearsal went into that, buddy. Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you, folks, for participating.